So hello and welcome to a film mixologist. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm building this um, Holy 4180 uh, carb, uh, which is quite different uh, to a kind of standard 600 C CFM uh, 4160 vacuum secondaries carb. So what I'm going to do is <coughs> is I'm going to show you a close up of what's the main differences between the two models. And it's very, and that's, and, and that's probably the reason why it's very rare to see any of these carbs being rebuilt. Because if you try and buy a standard rebuild kit for these carbs, it's not going to work. Um, so I'll show you, I'll show you why in a minute, and also I'll show you kind of the rebuild process as I go along. Okay, so. Let's have a look. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them side by side if I can. So this is the metering block of a Holy 4180. And as you and this is the our standard 4160 uh, metering block. As you can see, already you can see some differences between the jets. So this one's they go in straight, this one go in through the side. So that's a dead giveaway that it is a that it is a, a, a 4180. This is the metering block for the 4180. The other difference as well is that you the because the 4180s tend to be used on trucks, they have what Holly calls a, a, a dual stage power valve. So that means that the valve opens partially at some vacuum and then fully at another vacuum reading. Um, so it is quite important when you rebuild this sort of carb that you put the right, uh, the right power valve. The, so so here's what what, what I'm what I mean by rebuild kits are not compatible. So this is the gasket for this type of um, this type of face. This is the standard 4160, and this is the gasket for the 4180. It goes like that. So as you can see they're quite different and it would be a bit challenging to make to make one fit into the other that's why i, I personally wouldn't try and the same thing is if let's twist them around and let me show you the gasket at the back is pretty much the same thing so this is the standard Kind of holly 4150, 4160 gasket. There you go. Well, and this is the gasket that is specific uh, for this application. I think it goes this way. Yeah, there you go. That's the right way. So as you can see, they are quite different, and probably some of the yeah some of the holes in here are different. So therefore, it wouldn't be compatible. The other thing as well is that the base gasket is different to the 4150, 4160, so it wouldn't work. There is yet another difference that in, in, in Holly, the 4150, 4160 carbs, this is the idle mixture screw. Now, in 4180s, it's quite different because the idle mixture screws, this assembly that I've got here, and basically this assembly goes right here into the base plate of the carb. So there are carbs that are, that are regulated by, by putting this assembly here into here. So that, that's why they haven't got the provision. There isn't any idle mixture provision in the metering block. So those are the main differences and the main reason why a standard rebuild kit wouldn't work on this carb. Okay, so here's the, um, the, the completed carb now. Um, as you can see, from, from outside, it, it looks very similar to a standard, you know, 4150, 4160. Obviously, you've got these this pipes, they must be for some sort of vacuum attachments <coughs> in the truck. And also there is a... This choke mechanism is quite different. <coughs> To the normal holy ones and also the these attachments here for the I don't know if you can see them this plastic 
uh, attachments here for, for the choke which were changed to new ones. Um, there is also another another particularity of this card. Let's see if you can see it. If you can see it in there, let's have a look if I can hold it. These are annular discharge boosters uh, and they're quite different to, to the normal ones. So basically they they produce a kind of higher flowing situation. So evidently, kind of these scarves are quite bespoke to their application, which is trucks. Uh, so if you if you if you've got a truck and you're in need of a carb, look out in a internet auction site uh, for it to go live. So I just need to kind of make sure I've, uh, I've, 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 I've photographed this up, uh, ready to put it on sale. So I'll see you on the next episode.